All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So this way, all my terms have a base of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is 2x. So now I have 2 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something from a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So now I have 2 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x, which is m, is equal to 4. So I have x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. And to solve this, I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. Now I have x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, b is negative 2, a is 1, and c is negative 4. So I have x is equal to negative negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4. And I have all this over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared is 4 minus negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 over 2. So now this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. And the square root of 20, that's the same thing as 2 root 5. So now this is simplified into 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. Alright, so in this problem I have x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. So I'm first going to rewrite this as x to the power of 7 times 3 plus x to the power of 7 times 2 is equal to 36. Now, I'm going to put this as x to the power of 7 to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 7 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now I can let x to the power of 7 equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y squared is equal to 36. Now if I subtract 36 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now negative 36, I can rewrite this as negative 27 minus 9. And now I can rewrite this as y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 3 squared is equal to 0. So if I have something in form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I can rewrite y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 as y minus 3 times y squared plus 3 squared plus 3y plus I can rewrite y squared minus 3 squared as y plus 3 times y minus 3 and this is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y minus 3 I get y minus 3 times 
y squared plus 9 plus 3y plus y plus 3. This is equal to 0. And this is simplifies into y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations, y minus 3 is equal to 0, which means y equals 3. This is one solution. And y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So to solve this, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And I'm not going to waste your time actually plugging them in, but if you do, you end up getting that it's less than 0, so this won't work out. So y equals 3 is my only solution to this equation. Now remember how we let x to the power of 7 equal y. So now I have x to the power of 7 equal 3, meaning x is equal to the 7th root of 3. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 squared. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute an x to the power of 3 for y, or sorry, y for x to the power of 3, I get y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now I'm going to factor this by rewriting this as y squared minus 2y plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor by grouping. So I have y times y minus 2 plus 1 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out y minus 2, I get y minus 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations, y minus 2 is equal to 0 and y plus 1 is equal to 0. For y minus 2 equals 0, y equals 2, and for y plus 1 equals 0, y equals negative 1. Now remember how we let x to the power of 3 equal y. So now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2, and x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. So for x to the power of 3 equals 2, you can simply take the cube root on both sides. So now I have x is equal to the cube root of 2. And for x to the power of 3 equals negative 1, Again, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides, so I get x is equal to the cube root of negative 1, and the cube root of negative 1 is simply negative 1. So I have x is equal to negative 1. So these are my two solutions to this problem.